Hey, Connect Group leaders, welcome again to The Connection. What is The Connection? It is the place where you come in your everyday life to feed your calling, uh, to receive motivation, encouragement, and practical actions that you can take to connect with your small group. Today, I wanna talk to you about tough questions. Uh, in this series, we have seen that students are asking some tough and challenging questions. And so um, I just want to talk to you about what that looks like in the context of your small group. Um, so this Sunday, you might have some questions that you bump into that um, seem challenging, seem kind of sticky, seem kind of messy, things that kids are going through, things that their friends are going through, and there might not be a clear-cut answer for every single kid. And so what I encourage you to do is to not give a canned answer or maybe not even give an answer at all, but really pose the question back to the students. Say, you know, that's a really great question. What do you guys think? Or, hey, that's a really good question. What do you think God says about that? I would encourage you this week to think through what are some questions that you think students might ask? What are some things that you think students would ask that you might not have a clear-cut answer to? and then go to what scripture says. When you can point students back to scripture and what the Bible says about it, it takes the pressure off of us and our opinions and what we think is correct and puts it on God, on God's word, on his truth, and what he says about the situation, about the issue, about what students are going through. And so um, I just wanna encourage you with uh, this, this kind of key idea that if you don't know the answer, don't pretend like you know the answer. Just simply say, I don't know, it's a great question. Let's, let's figure that out together. Um, now, chances are you might not have some of those questions in your group, but if something comes up, it's always good to be prepared. So think through what are the couple questions that might catch you off guard, and then give yourself one or two Bible verses that might speak into that, and ask the students, what, is, what does this verse say about this topic, or what does this verse say about how we should apply this idea? And uh, let God's word do the speaking. And when God's word does the speaking, it allows us to step back and let him transform the hearts of our kids. Thanks for stopping in the connection. Can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Thanks.